switch over to part of the new Highway 23 now in effect. Purveyor's Sheboygan testing site location to change. U.S. Supreme Court refuses to extend Wisconsin's vote count. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Pfister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. The Sheboygan County Division of Public Health issued its first report of the week and added 388 new cases of COVID-19 between 8 a.m. Friday through 8 a.m. Monday, October 26th. Only two of those were KMCI inmates where 858 cases of the disease have been recorded. Sheboygan County now has 1,464 active cases, a number now revised per the definition of laboratory confirmed PCR tests administered within the last 30 days. Positive tests are counted one time per person unless at least 90 days had passed since the first positive test. Recovered cases will now be defined as confirmed cases where 30 days have passed since testing positive and has not resulted in death. That number is now 2,244. Both figures were brought into conformity with Wisconsin DHS standards. Of the active cases, 23 are hospitalized. Within 958 negatives returned, the positive rate as of Monday was the 20, 26 was 28.8%. Wisconsin received 12,749 test results since Sunday. With 2,883 returning positive, that return rate was 22.6%. 10 more deaths were recorded, raising the death toll to 1,788. Another 84 persons were hospitalized for COVID-19, and as of Sunday, 1,293 persons in the state were hospitalized for COVID-19, with 320 of those in the ICU and another 115 patients awaited their test results while hospitalized and 445 persons were on ventilators. Prevea Health has been operating a COVID-19 testing site outside of their Sheboygan Medical Office building at Salmon Avenue and Taylor Drive and will continue for another few weeks. But as of November 16th, that site will shift from the north to the south side. The new location will be in Southtown Mall at 3335 South Business Drive. Prevea Health offers testing at no charge to anyone experiencing one or more COVID-19 symptoms, and many in which are also occur in the common cold or flu, such as cough, fever, chills, sore throat, and runny nose. But Purveya Health President and CEO, Dr. Ashok Rai, said w that one should not assume that it is just a cold. Rai said that COVID-19 can be spread even when symptoms are mild, and appointments for the free testing can be made in the same day. Travelers on Highway 23 between Sheboygan and Fond du Lac are using some of the newly constructed lanes as this past Saturday. The Wisconsin DOT made the move a few days earlier than anticipated and drivers are being reminded to use caution and be aware of the traffic pattern change. The traffic will remain two lanes for now as contractors still have plenty of work to do before the expansion to four lanes and completed in 2022. This week, the contractor will work on pavement marking, shouldering, topsoil, and landscaping. Work and counties, or work continues to, at the County T cul-de-sac branch road and the Old Plank Road Recreational Trail. Signing and delineator 
work also continues. A hoped for return to daily meal delivery in November has been put on hold for now by Fresh Meals on Wheels of Sheboygan County. Kelly Anderson, the CEO of Meals on Wheels of Sheboygan County, said that the rising number of COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin caused the organization to choose continuation of weekly bulk deliveries and the decision was made to protect the safety of our meal recipients, volunteers, and staff. Those meals made by culinary staff and then flash frozen are delivered in sanitized vehicles by volunteers that also serve to check on the safety and welfare of their clients. With only weekly deliveries for now, those more frequently, those checks are made by so-called caring callers by phone and there is room for more volunteers to do just that. Volunteers must pass a background check and anyone interested in becoming a caring caller can email client services at freshmealsonwheels.org. Meanwhile, anyone needing a meal delivered should contact Meals on Wheels at 451-7011. There are no waiting lists and there are no income restrictions. And finally, absentee ballots in Wisconsin are due back by 8 p.m. on election day, no exceptions. The U.S. Supreme Court on Monday ruled against a Madison-based federal judge who wanted to allow local election managers to count ballots that same day that came in as late as six days after the election day. The court ruled five to three that state lawmakers, not federal judges, are the ones who write the election laws in Wisconsin. The decision means late absentee ballots will not be counted this year. And that is all we have for today. Join me again next time for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.